All right, I'm back with the video, and um, it's it's sexual. It's like a sexual day about sex and stuff. <laughs> All right, so it, this is called the dirty tag, and um, let's just say some of the questions are a little a little sexual. <laughs> So, there's like 32 questions. I'm going to answer them. I may not answer some, depending. Because some of them are like, wow, like, are you seriously asking me this? <laughs> okay. Here we go. And please, feel free to, uh, you know, answer the questions with me. <laughs> Here we go. Number one. Have you ever got so wet in the night that you wake up wanting some sexual activity uh i would say no and that is not a lie like dead serious no i no um two tell me your wettest dream oh my god i cannot believe i'm doing this um i really honestly don't have any you know like i'm more of a like reality type person um i'm all about the realistic things, not like the dreams. Number three, what body part attracts you to the most? What body part attracts you the most, men or women? Okay, women, uh, well, because I'm a lesbian, so yeah, girls. Um, four, ever kissed a girl? Never. I have never kissed a girl. Never. <laughs> I did. Oh my god. Oh my god. You kissed a girl. Five. Home alone and you're bored. What do you do? Um, I watch tons of porn. <laughs> Five. Or six. Do you touch yourself sexually? Oh my god. All the time doing it right now I'm doing it right now seven do you watch porn I answered that already up above <laughs> number eight which type of porn is your best anything just porn <laughs> eight or nine if you could have sex with anyone in the world who would it be my wife um, number 10, what do you wear when you go to bed? I wear boxers and a t-shirt. If it's really hot, I just wear boxers. Um, if it's really, really cold, I'll wear pajama pants and a t-shirt, but normally I just wear boxers and a t-shirt because I can't, I can't stand clothes on when I sleep or socks. Um... Number 11, what do you think, what do you think you look the sexiest in? My pajamas. I look damn sexy in pajamas. Uh, 13 or 12, have you ever watched someone make out on accident or purpose? Um, I've seen people make out did I sit there and be like, oh my god, no. Um, okay, number 13. Has a guy girl ever touched you or discreetly groped you while clubbing or in a crowded place? Well, yeah, you know why? Because it's called being a woman. I mean, you could be, I could be at, um, like, a gay bar and, you know, someone's like, <laughs> or, you know, they're like, with their arm around you, and they're kind of like casually trying to touch you. It's because, not all men, but a lot of like, even my straight guy friend, or my straight, my straight guy friends, my gay guy friends will just joke around, like way years ago, he, like they used to joke around with me, and, um, 
like touch my ass and stuff like that like in a joking manner obviously they're gay i'm gay so it wasn't gonna go anywhere but um as far as like being groped and and touched at in or like in a crowded place yes because it's called being a woman and two um if it's in a crowded place you're going to get touched because i mean there's no going around that you know you're you're bound to get a fondle somewhere uh 14 if there's one place a girl guy should touch you to make you instantly horny where is that you'll never know 15 have you ever made out with someone just because you were bored or horny no i'm not a whore 16 how do you think your body would look better shaved or natural okay i've made a video about this in the past all right and if you're all about the natural you know if you're all about sporting the fro down there and you can oh props to you man like thumbs up to you me i can't i, I can't do it i gotta i gotta I gotta be like a landscaper, you know, down there, like in the vag area. I mean, it's just how it is. You just don't, I don't know, like, I don't want to be going out to eat and have to, like, trim around or, you know, like, I just, no, no, like, shave it, just for the love of God. I mean, I'm not a landscaper, so I don't want to have to, like, work my way around. Or, yeah, we're getting really personal now. I told you this was going to be a sexual video. Are you getting wet right now? Are you getting a boner right now because of this? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, 17. Does a massage get you wet? You know what? I'm going to plead the fifth on that because... I'm just going to play the fifth. Because it, it really all it depends, obviously, on who's giving you the massage, what's going on with the massage, is there touches in, like, certain places, what's going on. Okay. Um, 18. If you were, are a lesbian, would you go for the woman girls who act like men or the ones who act like girls <sighs> okay um this can be a really difficult question because i'm just gonna say i like a stem if you don't know what that means you know how like femme and then there's studs like the real manlier lesbians are studs and then the femme lesbians are like real feminine so they're femme so what about stem it's like a combination of both i could never date someone that's exactly like me i would kill myself um but i can never date anyone i have in the past but i can never date someone that's real high maintenance because i would have to slap a bitch like, I just, I could not deal with someone like, Oh my god, my heels hurt! Ah! Oh my god, I broke a nail! What am I gonna do? Like, no. No. Like, bitch, cut those nails, number one, because they hurt. And I just, I prefer a stem. Okay, onward. 19. Oh my god, I'm only 19. Would you get turned on if I was whispering all these questions in your ear? I'm just gonna have that question turned to you. Um, are you getting turned on with me if I was whispering these questions to you? Like, hey, hey, um, what's your wettest dream? Or, you know, hey, do you watch porn? What type of porn do you watch? Do you touch yourself? Mmm. Where do you touch yourself? <laughs> so I'm turning that question to you. Did that just make you horny? Um. 20. Are you a touchy-feely person? 
I am. I am. I'm very affectionate. Uh, I used to not really be for certain reasons or whatever, but I, I am. Yes. And I, I like the person to be a touchy-feely person. Um, I'm not saying, like, grope me in public or, like, have sex with me out in the open, but, you know, I like to... Yes. Um, 21. Do you take showers more in the night or in the morning? Um... It all depends on the day. If it's real, like, a hot day, I'll take them morning, like, afternoon and night. And if it's just, like, a winter, regular cold day like it is now, like, I took it this morning, and then I'll be fine again until tomorrow morning. So, because I'm not, like, getting sweaty or anything. 22. Do you masturbate all the time? Um, 23. Ever masturbate in public? Are these questions, like... Who makes these questions up? I'm just curious, like, for the love of God, do I masturbate in public? I do. 24. Do you own a sex toy? Every lesbian does. If they say no, they're lying. 25. You just got the call that you're going to die sometime this week. What are the top five things you do and why? Well, I go to the doctor to find out why I'm dying and if there's any possible way I could make myself live would be the very first and foremost thing I would do. Two, if then I knew I was going to die and had no chance of living, I would spend time with my family and my friends um, and tell everybody that I love them. Three, I would go visit my grandmother's grave. Why? Because I love her, and I may never be able to see her or talk to her again. Um, four, I probably would cry a little bit and probably get kind of depressed. And then five would be I would spend lots and lots of time with my wife. Yes, you, baby. Um, 26. Ever? I can't, I have my glasses on, so I'm, like, blind. Ever left the house wearing any, ever leave the house without wearing any underwear? I have. Um, I don't normally go commando, but there have been times where I have, and I hate it. So... Yeah, but I have. 27. What's the dirtiest thing you've ever said? What's the dirtiest thing anyone's ever said to you to turn you on? <laughs> Again, you'll never know. Um... 28. If you could only say one line to someone to turn them on, what would you say? Sexual. Fucking sexual. 29. How many times do you masturbate a week? <laughs> every week. Or every- seven times. Seven times. Every- I- ma every day. Every day I masturbate. With my toy. <laughs> um, 30. What is the best thing about having sex with a guy? Well, um, I only had sex with one guy, and there was nothing good about it. Besides that, it's kind of like a wham-bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, it's real fast and mm, 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 done, and you're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> so, nothing for me. Um... 31. What is the best thing about having sex with a girl? Uh, oh man, this is a question that I can go on and on and on about. They're sensual, they're soft, they're passionate. They understand what you want and you understand what they want because, well, you're both girls. So, I mean, you're on the same page. You see eye to eye. You know what they want and they know what you want. Bam! And lastly, 32, have you ever been called a tease? <laughs> ha! 
funny. Um, my wife calls me a tease a lot of the time. But other than that, no. <laughs> so, this is the tur the dirty tag. If you want to answer these questions, please do. I, w I would love, love, love <laughs> to hear your answers. And I don't even care if you're sarcastic, because if you don't know my sense of humor, then you obviously don't realize that I was sarcastic in that whole entire uh, video. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, if, and if you want to tag yourself, tag yourself, do the video. It's, it's actually quite amusing and fun. So sexual Monday just got even more sexual just now. Oh my God. I'm going to go peace and love. I think I'm, I need to go to the bathroom and like change my underwear. Cause that, that, those questions like, oh my God, they totally turned me on. I may have to go bust out a toy. Damn. Tenth time today.